Hi guys, my name is Crystal, welcome to my YouTube channel and I am now taking Max out for a walk Saturday morning. I've got a terrible cold, I've got blisters on my feet, but the show must go on. Alexa, what's the time please? It's 10.24am. got a, a stinking cold. It's really bad. It's Rochester railway station. I can't see one train. Children dying in Somalia. There's children dying in Somalia. It's terrible. I think we've become a greedy, selfish society in Great Britain. Not everyone, but most. It's greedy and selfish. She's got a brown dog out on the corner and it's barking woof. You hear that? It's really loud woof. So let's get out of here. Fortunately my phone died yesterday my phone packed in so I couldn't um, record what people were actually doing because my phone died but you wouldn't believe it what they were getting up to and getting away with it it makes you feel good when you walk down the road and a dog barks really loudly woof Expose the truth, people don't like you. They like to live in a world where they can get away with murder. They're not going to like me. I don't expect to be liked, I just don't want cruelty to continue. So this is slippery. None of this is, it's just very, very slippery. After one night, one night here in the UK, just one night of heavy snowfall and the country comes to a standstill. I couldn't get a taxi yesterday but there's plenty of delivery drivers going about their duty with parcels. Dirty DPT van, it needs a clean doesn't it, it's all black, it's all dirty. Because years ago, when I was made homeless, I was a very, very angry person. And they're not doing that to me again either. Walking the streets with no money and no food and tattered and torn clothing. 
and this was going on. When I was homeless on the streets, they was doing this to me. The worst two and a half years of my life was being put in a women's domestic refuge in Gloucestershire because I put up with the most horrendous bullying and mistreatment. I, I would be in like hostel accommodation and dilapidated houses and the staff would come out and not do anything to help me. Enjoying the snow. It's still like it snows, doesn't it? There, that is like glistening snow. And I don't want to be moaning over Christmas. I don't. I feel sorry for my mum. I, I feel sorry because. At the end of the day, um, being treated like that, you know, it's not. I'm. I'm just not want to go. I'm going to go up there again. And at the moment, I don't want to see my mother after I was treated like that yesterday. <sighs> because I feel like I'm her toy. And it was my father that lost his temper. It was my father that kicked the Christmas tree over. It was my dad, Derek, that attacked my mum. And I'm not like that. It's like she's turning me into this thing. Snowman's still there, look, with the carrot nose. There's no way my poor father could have walked from Chatham to Rochester. He had heart arrhythmia. He had a weak heart. Going down the path, sun's out, but I feel so isolated. Like my own mother is jealous. Like my own mum is jealous. Do you know what I mean? Jealous of me even speaking to my son or going for a coffee with my son. I mean, that's how. That's exactly what I actually feel like. And my dad, at the end of his life, was so fucking miserable. He was miserable. Just sat in the corner. <laughs> because I felt my mum was doing to me what she was doing to my dad. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. He ended up very miserable, sat in a chair, and he actually, towards the end of his life, hoped he would die because he couldn't stand it. <laughs> couldn't stand it, just sat in that chair. I experienced what my father was living with, and it wasn't very pleasant. Not pleasant at all. 
and I'm not in a hurry to go back up there and experience it again either. You can't sit down in peace and quiet. You can't. You can't sit down in the chair and watch the telly. It's interrupted with yelling and shouting. She won't let you speak. My mum won't. She won't let me speak to me, speak. It's a one-sided conversation and she's always talking about herself. And I've asked her to stop ringing me and she knows full well she's the only person I've got to talk to. It's controlling, isn't it? Manipulating me and controlling me with money as well. I'm not scared and I'm not afraid. I shall keep going on. Whatever happens, I will not stop. But I am not being controlled at the age of 54. It's just not happening. And if nobody wants to speak to me, nobody wants to be my partner, no one wants to be my friend, 